Hello and welcome to Pavli. So a lot of users were dealing with an issue of slow loading of their automation workflows, especially when they have added more than 25 steps into a single workflow. So to solve this problem, what you can do, you can break your single long workflow into multiple short workflows. How it is done? Let me show you. So to create or break your automation workflow into multiple short workflows, we are going to use a feature of Pavli Connect that is called Data Forwarder. So using this Data Forwarder, we are going to send the data or the responses from our first workflow to the second workflow and we are going to start building our second workflow over there after that data from that data. Like here you can see that on my screen, I have created a workflow named as Workflow 1. Here I have a trigger as a webhook, I'm getting some webhook response. And after that, we have this eight steps of workflow where I'm getting some data from the Google Sheet and then creating a poll on Telegram. After this, I also wanted to add a few more steps like sending the details of this poll which we have sent into Google Sheet and I wanted to add a few more steps. But instead of making a single long workflow, we are going to break this automation workflow into two short workflows. So after step eight, after this telegram step, for example, I want to break the workflow and send the data from this first workflow to the second workflow. And to do this, as I told you, we are going to use a feature of Pavli Connect that is called data forwarder. So just add an action step and select data forwarder over here. After this an action event from the drop down, we are going to select the action event as forward custom data. Just select this action event, click on connect. After clicking on connect, the first thing it asks us is the webhook URL. So what we have to do to forward the data from one workflow to another workflow, first we are going to add a trigger of webhook into our second workflow. So this is my workflow two in which I want to capture the data from workflow one. So here in the trigger step of this workflow, we are going to select webhook. After selecting this webhook by Pavli, Pavli can give us this webhook URL. Just copy this webhook URL from here, go back to our first workflow and this action step of forward custom data, we are going to paste this webhook URL over here. So we are telling this step that on this particular webhook URL, we want to forward the data. After adding the webhook URL, just hover on it and click on this plus button. By clicking on this plus button, you have added a pair of label and value. And here in this pair guys, you can add the data which you want to send to the second workflow over here. Let's take an example, like I have received some webhook response in the triggers window of the first workflow. So here I have the name, email address and the mobile number. So from this trigger response, I want to send the name and the email address to the second workflow so that I can use this data into my second workflow. So what I'm going to do, we are just going to map this trigger response over here in this data forwarder step. I'm going to enter a label, for example, the label name is name and the value which we have received in this workflow, you can map the value over here. Click on this plus button to add another pair of label and value. And in this way, you can just keep on adding multiple label and values according to your requirement. And then you can send this data. For example, I have another label of email and from trigger responses, I'm going to map the email. Then here guys, from Google Sheet, I'm getting some response. The response is of question. This is a response which I want to use in my second automation workflow. So here guys, what we are going to do, we are going to click on this plus button in this data forwarder step. Let's add a label, a question, and then let's map the value which we want to put in front of it. So from Google Sheet responses, I wanted to send this response, this value, just add it. So in this way, you can keep on creating the pair of labels and value. You can mention the label name and map the value from this workflow, which you want to send to the second workflow. After entering all the label and value pairs, which you want to send all the data, which you want to send to the second workflow, just click on save and send test request. Now, after clicking on save and send test request, it is showing us successfully forward it, which means the label and value of data, which we have created over here has been sent to this webhook URL. And we have received this webhook URL from our second automation workflow. And here in our workflow too, you can see that in this trigger window, we have received this response. So in this way, guys, you can actually forward the data from your first workflow and send this data into your second workflow. Now, after getting this data into the second workflow, you can just keep on adding the steps according to your requirement and use this data and continue setting up your automation workflow into the second workflow until a certain amount of step. 
After that, once again, you can add a data forwarder and forward the data to your third workflow if you still want to add a few more steps. So in this way, you can actually break your single long workflow into multiple short workflows and use the same trigger or the same data to automate or to run all of those automation workflows which we have created. So this was the solution of slow loading of automation workflows having a lots and lots of steps. I hope this video was helpful to you. So guys, this is it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.